Good evening, everybody. This is Nelka again, and、um, we have another lecture that we need to really, really discuss how the importance of AutoCAD knowledge in lighting design. So, if you really want to become a very, very effective lighting designer, you really need to learn AutoCAD. I mean, not just how to use the AutoCAD software, but how to read the drawings, especially in AutoCAD file, because you can also read drawings in PDF or in the paper printout. But in AutoCAD, you need to understand what is inside the drawing. So, for example, I have here one drawing of a retail shop with an outdoor parking, and you can see here the entrances and everything, and also the luminaire layout. One of the most important thing for you to learn is to identify which one of these so many lines is the wall, the window, the doors, and the other boundaries. For example, here in this drawing, there are so many colorful lines: circular, rectangular, straight lines, curved lines. And being a lighting designer, you need to know which one is which. Sometimes you can find it here in the layer tab. For example, what is this hidden line means? And when you check it in the layer, you will find out that the hidden line is not proper properly layered, and it says here it's a door. And for example, if you want to check another one, like for example this one, and we can see that this one is a okay, it's a plafond. I don't know what is that means. And for example, that one it's A fifteen line. Okay, so the sometimes the CAD operator is not okay. This one is proper li property line. Sometimes the CAD operator is not really using the、uh, the layer properties. And they do not name the the drawings or all the objects into a proper layer. Like for example, this is a light fittings. Okay, this is correct. So it's a lighting. And for example, this one is an object. Let's see if it's an object. Okay, mobilizer or mobilizer. And for example, this one. Okay, title block. This is fine. So sometimes you can find the value or the the name of the lines. In the layer, but most of the time, if the CAD operator is really lazy, they will not lay layer uh name it properly in the layer. So you need to identify and you need to find out what is the meaning of that line. And like what I mentioned, this hidden line here, I'm sure this is a cove light or it's a cove lighting or it's a cove. So the uh for example, this yellow. Around here is a luminaire. I'm sure it's a luminaire. And if you also want to double check that one, sometimes there's also a legend, and you can find out this luminaire is like this one. So it means it's a surface-mounted luminaire, and this one is a a linear or a recessed、uh, luminaire here with、uh, two gimbals or few gimbals on that one. And I'm sure this one is a downlight. But if you ask me, what is this one? The blue or the cyan hidden line? I can say this is a cove light. But for a regular person who doesn't know how to read or understand AutoCAD, they may not understand what the meaning of this hidden line is. So another one thing is, for example, there's a column here. How the lighting designer identify which one is column and which one is not? For example, there's a box here. Okay, for me, I I understand that this is a column, and there's a wall here. And if the lighting designer don't know what is the meaning of this, how many lines? Six lines here. It will be a big mistake because maybe this one is a wall or just a low partition or a furniture or a fixture, and yeah. So if it's not properly labeled, you need to ask、um, the client. Or I'm sure it, they will not tell you everything about it, but you need to find out yourself which one is which. For example, this one. These are the display fixtures, because this showroom is about、uh, the sanitary fixtures. So these are the bathtubs and everything. And you can see here that there is another cove light and suspended luminaires here. But here on this side, you can see that there is red. And then another yellow and purple 
colors of lines here i'm sure in my own opinion it means it has glass here and this round one is a column so if you are a lighting designer you need to find out what is the meaning of these lines really otherwise you will made a mis you will make a mistake in your room creation and your um, ceiling design and sometimes you can see here the, i'm thinking this is a reflected ceiling plan because you can see your diffusers and and some down lights and cove lights and everything but the the, the cad operator put also the fixtures displays here also in the office there's also furniture for office and also for the toilet so it's not just um, reflected ceiling plans that you need to get or understand uh, from the drawing because sometimes clients will only send you the reflected ceiling plan so it's easy for you to identify which one is the luminaire but sometimes you will get confused which one is the luminaire and which one is the fire uh, sprinkler and the one is and which one is the diffuser or ac grill so you really also need to check that one for this one this is stair it's easy these are the steps and but what is the meaning of those circular lines you uh, circular objects you might get confused of this one as a fixture which is it's not because the fixture is here so it, this is just a drafting techniques techniques so you, you should not confuse on this one and with this one i would like to uh, mention to you to all of my subscriber to please please learn how to use autocad and how to understand and read it it's really important if you really want to become an effective lighting designer study how to use autocad and study how to read the drawings all right so that's it for now and see you on the next tutorial bye